Good. Step two is touch the ground. There you go. And step three is nice and tall. Okay. Ready? All right, Jalen. So now I'm going to test you. What was step one? What Shooter was ready. Stand by. Correct. You got a what? Do it. Go ahead and bring a lot thorn. Ain't no giant, I ain't gon' fire on. Catch a fade, you I'm wrong, I'm gone. Y'all can catch the wave that I am on. I am icon, y'all are wide wrong. Think that I'ma reconcile bonds. So ain't nothing to it though. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Keep it a true to form, turn the L's into a milli though. But they already knew that those for well to your opinions know that he is so. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Hands up, there's going to be hands on our cheeks. Shooter ready. Stand by. Correct. So this is what we're going to do. Five, eight, go. We're going to go five, six. Reload. Whoever can stand the best wins. Okay. Let's go. 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 let us go get this out before I get, get back to training. Um, so, 44 years, yes, I'm announcing my age, um, I decided to explore something new. And one of the reasons it took me so long to get into this is just, um, you know, lack of understanding. And to be honest with you, it was a lot of fear. Um, fear as far as it comes to pertaining to handling, owning a weapon, and um, being able to use it effectively. You know, to be, to be honest, like I, I never really understood um, why people own guns, uh, what they were used for. The only thing, you know, I knew growing up for it is like you see it on TV, you know, people use it, people die. Um, and my parents never really got into it. I had some uncles in the military who did show me a few things and talk about them a little bit. But as far as my immediate home environment, I really never grew up around guns or anything like that. Obviously, you know, moving to the US um, and on the streets of the US, Things change, things change in, in a drastic way, but still, just from that home base that I had, I didn't have a, a complete understanding, and that under, not lack of understanding created that fear process in it for me. So, and I'm not alone in this. I think a lot of people do like, um, not to say I'm anti-gun. I just think like if you do have it, you should be able to use it and um, know it, own it, and use it effectively. You know, I think it's a responsibility. Any weapon that you have, whether it's a stick to a bazooka, um, you should have not just the basics. You should have advanced knowledge, especially, um, like I said, if it's a weapon, a weapon that can be used to cause damage. It has to. For me, hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. You know, um, I you know learned striking, have jujitsu, MMA. Um, one of the things that I actually had to do, like you know. Um, was in a situation, it was actually a home invasion situation, where I ended up having to take somebody down and put them out with a choke. And um, that sense, in that sense, like the training that I had at the time kicked in. You know, there wasn't searching for this or worrying about that. There was no panic. It was automatic, the things and the way that things happen. And that is the way, that same kind of training is what I want to have, or that same kind of feeling. Um, knowing myself, knowing what I can use, what I can do, I want to have that same feeling with owning a, um, a gun. So I actually got my cert, did a certification course like a year ago, and with the same guy that you see on camera, um, I mentioned his name Troy. He's an awesome, awesome coach. And I think what happened too is that I had to find a, a, an instructor who was training me not out of fear but out of knowledge. You know, I see you see a lot of. Uh, courses and um, you know advanced tactics and all that sort of stuff and people are kind of teaching from a fair pace like don't let this happen to you home invasion blah 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 you know it's, it, feel, it feels like a lot of that and I um, prefer to have somebody who had a really really good understanding really really good knowledge and as he explained it he goes through these things you know he's not teaching from a fear based situation it's from knowledge from respect from um, you know somebody who has a long 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 experience not just owning a gun and shooting a weapon down range, you know, but actually using it in the streets, you know, because uh, he was a former police officer and I think in some special units as well too. So that was a, a couple of the big things that happened to me that caused me to say like I'm comfortable at this point in time, to say like I'm gonna, you know, get my concealed weapon carry and then um, also training and I wanna take my training and I'm gonna treat it like a martial arts. That, you know, I'm at white belt level, you know, I haven't really purchased one yet. I am still getting it down to be comfortable. I can 
load it and shoot it downrange. But to me, that's the basics. That's not learning how to be able to draw and fire when you're under stress. To be able to hit a target longer than, you know, maybe 10 feet away or something like that, like effectively. You know, knowing the differences between, you know, different rounds, different bullets. There's a lot that I still have to get into and that I have to learn. And like I said, for me, it may seem like, uh, um, you know, I'm going on a route there. You know, some people may not understand and that's fine, but I think for me anyway, treating this like a martial arts, I'm not getting into the flash of it. I'm not gonna have like a million weapons or anything like that. I'm not gonna be decorating it. It's gonna be a weapon, it's gonna be a tool. It's gonna be, um, as with for me, with all martial arts, it's, um, I just love training martial arts and learning th new things and how to apply these things and you know, my body physically as well as the mentality behind it. So that is a huge aspect of it for me. But also, you know, I just also look at martial arts and training. It's just that having that insurance, like I said, who, if you would have told me when I was younger that I would have to defend myself against somebody kicking in the door um, less than 10 feet away from me and just rushing in like this guy was coming to attack me, um, I would have told you that's crazy. There's no way that was going to happen. So, um, and from 99.999% of the people out there, it's never going to happen to you. And I uh, hope it doesn't. But just in case, you know, do have the insurance, it's mainly the mentality and the emotional stability that. Um, I get coming from training that I know that I can handle these situations, these scenarios and it's the same thing like for me to go ahead and purchase a weapon that I want to have that same mentality, um, that calmness, that effectiveness, the, the feeling that I know what I'm doing at all times and to be effective, uh, you know, effectively deployed. So um, it's a new journey for me. It's something completely new and I still have a healthy fear of it, it's not as much as I used to, but I'm learning to calm that down and to approach this from you know, a little bit of a more civil discourse. I'm really, really thankful to the firearms coach because uh, he's really taken me through this process and I think I found my coach to take me at least through the first several levels and um, it's going to be a fun time, you know. Side note, just to say also too that for me, like, like I said, with any weapon, I want to be proficient at it. I took private lessons with Kali to learn the skills that I needed to actually own, not just own a knife, but if I had to use it to play, you know, not something that looks flashy, not something I can just whip off my hip and scare somebody with, you know, any weapon is a tool and if you don't know it well, it can be used for destruction. And that is the last thing that I want to have, you know, any weapon on me for that, you know, I don't have enough knowledge of it and control of it that it's used for something in the wrong way or it's deployed the wrong way and it ends up causing injury when it doesn't really need to be so that is my you know on this journey as far as approaching these techniques and learning these skills and being able to apply them hopefully never but if i do they're still in my back pocket and you know the good thing is if i go to the grave never have ever happened to use this good, good. All so technically, they would be going down because they can't stand with a broken hip. That's what the bullet does. Okay, so that's, that's out to the right, but then boom, head, head. If they were still standing, they're done. There's two to the head, one to the head over there. Peripheral picks up the front, front side only. Got it. That helps you get in the general area. Okay? Front side so What are you looking at? I'm looking at that car door. You're looking at the car okay, door. Okay, and now I can see the car door, but you see the front sight. It's, it's like blurry. Yeah. Right. Forget about the rear sight. The front sight's right. blurry, and the car door's clear. Right. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's that's what they call a uh, front sight shooter. Also, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be putting out more vlogs at a little bit more frequent basis. I think I slowed down to about two weeks, but now I'm going to go back to like more of a weekly basis with these vlogs to uh, keep it out there. Versus bam, bam, bam. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm moving around too much. So this is just to bring awareness to you. 